Hey everyone, Dan at Ochoco Bushcraft. Well, this is a word of caution. For those of you who have never visited the Ochoco Mountains, you never know what kind of strange creatures you'll encounter out here. <laughs> I'm actually at an old hunting camp. Um, roads were too snowed in to get down here until this past week. So I'm just guessing that last year during hunting season, there was a camp set up here with kids because the first thing I found was these two little toys. So if you happen to be the hunter camped out here uh, catching this video, I'm going to leave these toys exactly where I found them over there on a log by the fire pit. Uh, so if you come back, your kids toys will still be here. <laughs> all right, guys, in all seriousness, I have a bushcraft quick tip, safety tip for you guys today. Now, I believe and I teach that a hatchet is an absolute essential bushcraft tool. I've got my Grand's Force Brook right here on my belt today. I've got my saw and I've got my SCPR4 Kephart knife. And if you have ever done any reading of Nesmuk or Kephart, I really enjoy reading their books, especially Kephart. I'm actually a big fan. And uh, surprisingly, before I had ever even read him, many of the things that I was doing in the mountains, such as carrying a hatchet, carrying a sheath knife, always keeping matches in my pocket, were already things that uh, I had made a part of uh, what I do. And so it was just awesome to read someone, you know, over a hundred years ago, carrying and doing those exact same things but and i highly recommend their books uh, camping and woodcraft and then woodcraft and camping nesmuk and kephart so anyway i'm going to show you one of the biggest mistakes that people make with a hatchet that sends them to the emergency room and i'd say chances are it's probably the number one reason that people go to the emergency room with a hatchet and the emergency rooms are full of stories where this has happened Here's what people often do. They have a piece of wood, this little piece right here, that they want to chop down into some fine little pieces of kindling so that they can uh, put a match to them or set them up on some tinder and get their fire going. And so this piece of wood will not stand up on its own. I deliberately cut it crooked so that it will not stand. So they have a piece of wood that will not stand they take their hatchet. Don't do this, guys. I have seen serious injuries. Even people who are experienced, it can happen because, you know, things happen. Things slip. Things bounce. Things don't always go as planned. Do not hold this with your fingers is what most people do. And then they'll try to carefully set the hatchet or bounce it down in there. Somehow get the hatchet lodged in so they can then tap the wood down. And like I said, probably, you know, I'd, I'd have to do the research, but I would guess if not the number one, the number two thing that sends people with a hatchet to the emergency room is doing this right here. I've seen it slip off and go into people's thumbs, catch fingertips. It's a mess. It's not good. So here is a quick safety tip. Just take a simple branch, trim off one end with your knife or hatchet, either one. Your hatchet should always be nice and sharp. Trim off one end so that it's nice and flat and it won't roll. Then you can use that to hold your piece of wood and your hand is safely out of the way. Just like that. See that? My hand is nowhere near the blade. And now I can safely make some kindling to get my fire going start getting some small pieces maybe want to do a little log cabin fire and I don't want to use my only knife for batoning so right there perfect example of how useful this is because I'm turning it over to the wider end and that is very dangerous when you've got a wider end on top and a narrow end down here and you're trying to use your hand to hold it. My hand's safely 
out of the way. And I'm getting some nice pieces killing for the fire. And that's what I want. A whole bunch of these. And I can keep holding them and keep cutting them down. And if I get them real fine like this, then I'll go ahead and take my little cap part and make some toothpicks. But for bigger stuff, and this is my only knife. I've got some little pieces. Look at that. That's pure fatwood right there, that little piece. Just a two seconds with a match and that'll start burning so when I got this like today this is my this is my knife for the day I'm not carrying a big knife I've just got this I'm not gonna use it to baton big stuff I'm gonna use my hatchet for what a hatchet should be used for in a safe manner I'm 30 miles from town I don't want to be driving back with blood squirting out of my fingers uh, safety tip for you guys who use hatchet and again my opinion is and I teach my students this that a hatchet is an absolute essential piece of bushcraft gear that everybody should learn how to use and use properly and safely Dan at Ochoco Bushcraft guys thanks